this time I'm going to do a little basic sunset with a silhouette image. This is very basic. I do everything very basic, so anybody can try this. It's really easy. Choose a nice rock, a nice smooth rock. And these are my new paints. $3.99, they're acrylic. Not bad. I've had lots of fun with these, and I also bought a packet of these from a cheap shop. 99p kids paint brushes so there's nothing fancy about what i'm about to do just to prove that i think you can all do this it's not just like arty people that can do this so i'm going to first of all choose some sunsetty colors we'll go for a red these are only the basic colors in here but they're fine i'll have a yellow we'll go for an orange although if you're really arty you could just mix the red and yellow to get the effect but I'll go for the orange and because it's silhouette we need black I think that's it I've made some here I'm not very pleased with them they're a bit dark so I'm gonna do some brighter ones if this one's alright these are a bit dark I only just see I wasn't very happy with those trial and error just have a go oh I've just realized this rock is huge I'll just put a little bit more <laughs> okay ready so we'll get the red I'm not actually mixing it with water, I'm just going straight in there. How much way round do we want it? I think we'll go that way. So I'm going to start with the top of the sky with a nice bright red. I haven't even bothered to paint my rock white. Some people would paint their rock white first with some kind of gloss paint or whatever paint they want to choose. But not me, I'm all for an easy life. So here we go, paint it straight on. I think that looks okay. So before it's dried, I'm not even going to clean my brush. I'm going to go for the yellow. And let's wipe that in there. See? That's nice, isn't it? So this one, I think we'll do a forest scene. So I'll do a foresty one on this one. There we go, maybe I'll add a bit more of that yellow effect. It could be wishy-washy because skies are wishy-washy, aren't they? So I'll just rinse that off. Always handy to have a packet of wet wipes available. This is just the way I do it. And I'm going to go for a dark green. So, green. It's the only green that's in this pack, so I'll just add a tiny blob of black. You don't need much black to make it dark. It gets dark very quickly if you add black. There you go. There you go. I want it to be quite silhouette -y. So we'll just do the forest floor or the hill or the mountain or whatever it is you're going to be making this into. This is going to be some trees. It's going to be kind of a foresty tree scene. I should have probably done a bit more of that. Never mind, I can just about make that go. Okay, then I'm going to wash the same brush. It's quite a nice brush, this is flat. I'm going to get my black. How's that looking? Alright. This is a kind of sunset, isn't it? Then I'm going to get the black. Plain old black. Should stand out really nicely. And I'll do some trees. Do one there. One there. Maybe one over here. And see how it goes, yeah? I'm just kind of doing a splotty, brushy effect here. It's the best I can do. I'm sure some people are far more Partier than this, but this works for me. I'm happy with that. Kind of. Let's speed this bit up if you like. There you go, that's like a silhouette forest scene as the sun sets. And the next one I'll do is going to be a more purpley sunset with a skyline. <laughs> 